What is good, Skins fans? So we have signed uh, Cornelius Lucas, I think that's his name. I can't remember. Another no-name guy. And we signed Logan Thomas, I think. Yeah, Logan Thomas, the tight end from the Lions who went to Virginia Tech. Uh, as you know, I am a Virginia Tech football fan. I'm, I was a, I'm a Maryland football fan as well. Do like both. Of course, you know, my man is Tyrod Taylor. My man is Michael Vick, Marcus Vick. Um, a lot of guys, like Cam Chancellor. A lot of guys have came out of Virginia Tech. Josh Morgan, a receiver. Um, I'm trying to think who else who came out of Tech. Man, there's some other legit names that came out of Virginia Tech. So, um, you know. Oh, oh um, I think a Fuller. Did Kendall Fuller's brother come out of Virginia Tech? Or did Kendall Fuller? Um, so, you know, a lot of Virginia Tech guys. You know, we got Greg Stroman right now. So, you know, I love, I'm a, a Virginia Tech fan as well. So, um, I was going to say, he signed Cornelius Lucas. That's his name. He's been on many teams. And uh, he is a he's played a right tackle. He's a swing tackle, offensive tackle. I think he's getting one year. I can't remember how much he is. I'll probably put that in the title, how much he's getting paid, but probably three million dollars or something like that. So, Ron is the king of these depth signings, and I'm, we're all getting the feeling how Ron is. I think we are all kind of excited. Uh, we thought we were gonna get you know like a big name receiver, a big name tight end, and Austin Hooper. We haven't gotten that. Uh, he did swing for the fences for Amari Cooper. We didn't get that. We we're thinking we get Emmanuel Sanders. Still hasn't been any word on Emmanuel Sanders. We thought we were going to get somebody like a Robbie Anderson. I didn't really want Robbie Anderson. But I think we just came into this free agency with just expecting, you know, not even just big names. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want the big name. I just wanted somebody to fill position of need. And uh, I feel like we still haven't really addressed title, which it, it could, all could happen. You know, there's still Eric Braun out there. There's still uh, maybe even Tyler Eifert, Jacob Hollister. Those are the guys that are available. This, this free agent class... This really isn't that great, you know, because if you look at the wide receivers after Amari being picked up, AJ Green got tagged. Um, after that, it's just a really Emmanuel Sanders and Robbie Anderson. So if you look at the position class, they're really not that great either. But at the same time, it, it, some of these signings have been a little disappointing. They have. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, everybody's like, oh, yes, good job, Ron. Another death signing, special teams guy. You know, and, and that's fine. You know, I'm not expecting us to win, you know, the free agency March thing, the offseason champions and champions, you know. I'm not expecting us to do that and spend a whole bunch of money, but, you know, I think we do need to go after Emmanuel Sanders. I do, and I think we should take a look at Eric Ebron as well. I think we should. I think we should do that. Delaney Walker, not so much. That's a 35-year-old guy, injury prone. I don't want to go after him. I'd rather get Ebron than get Delaney Walker. I think at least one, either or. At least get Sanders or at least get Ebron. Can you please do that, Ron? Please. At least get one of those guys. And then if you want to keep signing death guys after that, just so be it. Go get, go keep getting these uh, one-year, $1 million contract guys. It's fine. And I understand. I understand. Trust the process. We're not going to win. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, and I've been preaching that. I don't think, you know, we're just going to change from a 3-13 and team to a 13-3 and or even a 10-6 and or maybe even not even a 9-7 and team next year. You just got to see, you know, and I believe in the draft. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, because, you know, we're getting so many no-name guys and deaf guys that might even get cut in training camp. Um, does that mean we're going to have to trade back? Someone on NFL Network said it because Ron hasn't been aggressive and hasn't really got a lot of weapons for Haskins. Um, does that mean we're going to have to trade back and get a left tackle, get a wide receiver for him, get a tight end in the first round, somebody of quality? I still don't think so. I still think we're going to go with Chase Young at, at number two. And, of course, the Cam Newton rumors are, are just swirling and swirling, speculation and speculation. So we'll see what happens. Cam Newton is going to be released. He's not going to be traded. I don't see anybody wanting to trade for him. Because it looks like all the quarterback positions are really filled up. I mean, you look at Tampa Bay, they got a quarterback. The whole NFC East, we, you know, except for us, quarterback set in stone, you know, because Ron said he wants competitive co competition. So we still don't know if Haskins is really set in stone. But if you look around the league, Everybody's quarterback situation is really finished with, except for the Chargers, maybe. They say they want to go move forward with Tyrod Taylor. You look at the Panthers, they want to move forward with Teddy Bridgewater. Saints got Drew Brees, Vikings, Kirk Cousins, Texas, Deshaun. You just look across the league, and everybody has their quarterback. Even the Denver Broncos, they just cut Joe Flacco. But it looks like they want to move forward with Drew Locke. So there's really not a lot of spots for Cam. And the Bears traded for Nick Foles, so that's, that's a done deal for Cam Newton. So, I, honestly, I really would not be surprised if he's released that Ron wants to go after, after Cam Newton. So, don't be surprised. I'm not saying I want that to happen because I think Cam Newton is a little washed up. And it just feels like Donald McNabb 2.0 just going after him again. So, 
it, it, it's it's weird. I think we're just stuck in a weird place right now. You just got to trust the process, and it's going to take time, man. Now, if he does go and get Cam, I do think we, we are able to win eight games just because Cam knows the offense and he knows what Ron wants. And Cam is still a, a decent player. He's not a great player anymore, in my opinion, because of the injuries and just the mental. But I think Cam is good enough to at least win seven to eight games in the NFC East. I don't think it's that hard to win that many games in the NFC East. And how bad the, the, the NFC East or the NFC East or in the NFC in general was last year, you can make the playoffs, especially with that expansion team in the playoffs. You know, you can really make the playoffs. But to talk about the signings, Logan Ryan is his name or something like that. Logan, I forgot his last name. I'm sorry. He did go to Virginia Tech. He was a tight end for the Lions. Yes, he calls Ryan Kerrigan to get a concussion. Yes, he has a little bit of potential. Will he make the team? I don't even know if he'll even make the team, to be honest with you. So we'll see. All right, y'all. And uh, J.D. McKissick was signed. We saw, we talked about that last night. All right, y'all. Hell to the skins. We'll see. Ain't, ain't wrong. We trust. Once again, you don't build the team through free agency, but you do add pieces and weapons for Haskins, and I think we haven't really done that yet to really help the young quarterback out. So we'll see what Ron does in the next few days. All right, y'all. Hail to the skins and hail to the Wizards. All right, y'all. Peace.